There's a dog there, but you don't smell a dog. You idiot. <laughs> You're so funny. Basley, there's no dog there. Hey guys, we don't go very often near Waters to the Right. Um, we are at our club for Sunday brunch and we're literally the only people in the dining room. I love it. Good morning. Hello. Can I have you something to drink? guys, since I have the bathroom to myself, I am going to do a quick outfit of the day, even though I think I weigh 10 pounds more than I did when I started. We have a Target top that I just got, Target dress that's probably four years old. It, it unzips, it's very cute. I guess it's a better look. And then these are actually Target leg tights. And these boots are old, I think a couple of years old, maybe a year old. They're from Donald Pliner. And they have faux zippers on the side. And then the real zipper here. And this is a very short dress. And then, oops, I have my Jessica tote. And my bobble bar purse charm. And then I think this is French connection, I'm not sure. And that's it. Oh, and my Kendra Scott. Where are they? My Kendra Scott earrings. So, all right, I've eaten myself into a food coma. So I'm gonna go collect the boys. That includes Michael. I'm gonna go home and change into sweats and uh, lay on the couch and be comatose for a while. Hey guys, it is a long time since I last saw you and back from the outlet store and outlet mall and I wanted to show you what I picked up. So I went to the cosmetic company, basically the, the Estee Lauder outlet store and they carry every brand that's under them. And I picked up, did I get anything? No, I got nothing there. Then I went across the street to the luxury cosmetic outlet store and that was, I need to go back. I was so overwhelmed and the kids wanted out of there but it was YSL and Urban Decay and Lancome. It was insane, I lost my mind. And I picked up, I've been wanting this forever. It was 35% off. This is one of the Rouge Voluptes and this one is not what I have on my lips. This one is number seven, the lingerie pink one. It's a really kind of bright baby pink that you're not going to be able to see in this darkness. It's very dark. But there it is. And they're just the creamiest, silkiest things you can put on your lips. Longevity is crap, but they're just incredibly luxurious. Then I got the Lancome Seal Booster. It's a eyelash primer for before your mascara primer, I guess they're calling it. Super enhancing mascara base. So as much as I love the Lancome mascaras, I've heard they're even better on top of the base. Then I went to the Clarins outlet and I got um, another Clarins Instant Concealer in the shade 01, which is my shade. It's my backup. I'm almost out of the original tube that I got like a year ago, longer than that. Um, then Kate Spade was having 50% off everything in the store and another 20% on top of that. So I picked up this tiny little, if you're into rose gold and you can get yourself to a Kate Spade outlet, they have a ton of these sparkly rose gold items. And this is a teeny tiny little wallet and it pops open and it has the ID slot and card slots. You could put money. It's a fully functioning wallet. It was originally $65 and then half of that and then 20% off of that. And then I'm really excited because I missed picking these up in the Nordstrom sale. These are the Kate Spade. Let me just turn the camera around. These are the, I'm not gonna, there they are. They're the sparkly, I don't know what they're called. Um, I still don't know what they're called, but I will link them below. They're kind of their iconic sparkly earrings. And then these oh, are gorgeous in the sunlight. They're basically like $12 each. So I did well, and the kids, North Face, everything was like 60% off at North Face, so they both got matching jackets, and then Jake Shane also got a fleece jacket, so everybody was happy, and I think, what else? That was it, that was everything. And this was the bag I took. This is the Elaine Turner bag, it's open. 
but what I really like about it, and here's my pink pom-pom, what I really like about it is it turns into a, whoop, turns into a backpack. So I just wore it as a backpack and walked around the mall and it was awesome. So that was that. And now we are gonna sit down and eat the leftover cheese. The kids are, Shane's at a basketball game, Jake's with a friend, so we're just gonna chill. Me and, and my boy here who is in camo mode. He's blending into the couch. Bosley. Hey guys, it is almost 6.30 on Tuesday. I'm off to a meeting and um, I tried something a little different with my makeup. I got the, Urban Decay sent me the Naked Smoky palette and I followed the tutorial from Tati. So hey Tati, I followed your tutorial, kind of, added a little bit of sparkle. And I don't know, it's a vast departure from how I normally wear my makeup. So this lighting is very flattering, but um, let me know. I mean it is, it's a nice warm glow. But let me know what you think of it. I don't know. So that's it for Tuesday. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, it's Wednesday. Almost Wednesday night. It's five, almost five. It's always very, it's very dark. And I started switching out some of the decor for winter. I just couldn't wait any longer. And here are my winter white dogs. Aren't they great decorations? That's Mimi. Mimi, you have schmutz in your eye. Yes, you do. And there's Wrigley. Okay, so I brought out these pillows. Move, Buzz. Buzz. Nope, okay. They're furry. I got them at Home Goods, and I got that pillow. Wrigley came, he's, we've had him for a while. And this embroidered pillow, and then another white pillow. And I have a feeling between the dogs and the kids that I don't know how long those furry white pillows are gonna last. And then in the main area here, these have been up for a little while, but these are my Hanukkah lights. They're blue and white rope lights and they go all the way up. And then I've started on my winter white decor. So I got the G in the background, but I have these little candles and I got some sparkly things. I'm gonna switch those out for like um, white and rosemary and frosted light up sticky things. I'm gonna get an LED shimmer strand, I think they're called. They sell them at Pier 1. I got this mirror at Pier 1, actually, and I'm gonna drape that across the top. And then I started, I bought these at, at home, and I realized I'm too short. So I'm either gonna take one off and alternate every other hook, or I'm gonna go back to the store and buy more. And I bought one to hang down the middle, but it doesn't fit, so I put it I don't know why my slippers are squeaking. I put it right there, it's a little off center. But it's really pretty. So those are good for Hanukkah, winter, what have you. And then I haven't touched the mantle yet for this. I think the menorah will go here and my snowman collection will go over the mantle. So that's it. And now I'm off to edit a video and write some blog posts because we're in the middle of sale season and I've got a lot to write about. There's a lot to keep you guys posted on. So I'm gonna go do that and uh, then I'm gonna go out to dinner with Michael. Yay, cause that's fun. We haven't done that in a while, just the two of us. Hey guys, we're at one of our favorite restaurants. We haven't been here in forever. El Dacos, we got tableside guacamole. And that is all that's left of it. in turkey cooking. So Michael requested a dessert for Thanksgiving that he wanted tonight. <laughs> so this is Choco, what's it called? It's off, <clears throat> found it off the back of the you Nestle's the bag. The the okay. Okay, you guys all heard him say that. Yeah, Chocolate yeah. peanut buddy bars on the back of the Nestle whatever. And what's the prize for wife of the year? Not the what's the prize, babe? Calendar just does that. You're ignoring me. Food. I think I got a feel. I think I can do this. Okay, Michael's trying to figure out how to fry. We got turkey breasts, several turkey breasts instead of a whole chicken. I mean, a whole turkey. I don't need that much peanut oil, actually. He's trying to figure out how to fry turkey breasts. And he's using my really expensive Calphalon stock pot 
and insert, strainer insert, and I'm getting a little territorial here. No, You're gonna put that on a propane tank, really? That's true. Look at that. Say hi. How is that He's, he's testing it with water before he tests it with boiling peanut oil. For sure. I'm going to have gloves that are going to take it up to the... Yes. For sure. Leslie, what do you think of all this nonsense? You're having a little too much fun with that. I got it. I think it'll work. I think we can make this work in a way that's good and safe. Okay. Those are the two important qualities there. Especially good and when, safe. Hey, when you're frying a turkey, it can get dangerous. Leslie, what do you think of all this? Bosley's got a lot of pep in his step lately. Yep. We started Bosley on new medicine oh, yeah. that it has, uh, it's glucosamine and no, no, chicken no. collagen. The key is it's collagen from a chicken And I will link it below because this dog has turned into his old puppy self in a matter of days. And obviously it's not a placebo effect because he's and a dog. He like no. He's amazeballs. He's amazeballs. I actually hate that phrase. I hate it. But in this case, it's it's applicable. You say it a lot. You say it. I don't say maze balls. You say maze balls, actually. What are you doing, dude? See, he's like frisky. Oh, there's a. We'll check it out. We're gonna go hunt in the garage. Don't let him lick antifreeze. Why do I do that? He knows that. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let that cool, and I'm gonna keep editing um, what you would have already seen November favorites video because might as well. Happy Thanksgiving. I am well into prep. I have my onions and celery for the dressing, sauteing, and tons of unhealthy butter. I have my potatoes cubed and in cold water waiting to be boiled for the perfect mashed potatoes. Thank you, Southern Living, for that recipe. I love Southern Living. They have the best recipes. Um, totally fudging on the stuffing or dressing, as they call it down here. I was raised calling it stuffing, even if you didn't put it in the bird, but I'm not making the stuffing from scratch this year. I'm just, I'm not. I am supplementing. Stove top. Oh no, not the cornbread. I bought that by accident. Here we go. Stove top. And then I add the celery and the onion to it. Tastes just as good. And uh, that's all, that's all. That's what we're doing. So we've got the turkey breasts marinating. Check this out. tucked up and marinating in there. And I'm actually gonna assemble the salad right now. And uh, that's it. And Michael's cursing in the background. I hope you did not just hear that. I will see you when there's more food underway. I have done my share for the economy. I've placed orders at Bobble Bar, Loft, and Amazon, and Beautylish is going live at five, which is very exciting. And this is our setup. We normally do this on the driveway, but this has been going on all day. Rain clouds. Very wet. So Michael has the very professional turkey fryer set up. He's going to move this wooden table because that's a little close. He has his fireproof gloves over there. The oil is ready to go. There any, yep. And uh, <laughs> he's got his temperature gauge. And um, this is a Goldberg Rite of Passage. This is how we do Thanksgiving when we're in town. So, very excited for the turkey. And uh, everything else is pretty much ready to go. I just have to finish the mashed potatoes and the stuffing. And yeah, that's it. Not bad, not bad. Finally, it is done. Salad, homemade salad dressing, gravy. Do you see this? Michael's never gonna live that down. Vat of mashed potatoes, stuffing, and rolls. There's asparagus cooked into that. And this is what we're having because this is what we wanted. Yay! Happy Thanksgiving! Good morning. Happy day after Thanksgiving. Happy Black Friday. It is 10.30, we're all still in our pajamas. I haven't even seen the kids yet, they haven't come downstairs. Um, I have already placed three Black Friday orders. <coughs> three, Beautylish, Sephora, there was another one. Origins. And I'm not gonna promise that there won't be more. Some really good deals to be had. Anyway, breakfast is for everyone. It's It has vitamin A in it, so it's considered healthy, right? We were so stuffed last night, we never even ate dessert. 
So there is my unblemished pumpkin pie from H-E-B. The H-E-B Bakery. Because, I don't know if you can see this, can you see that? Five ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-eight. They were sampling them when we went to go pick up our Thanksgiving stuff, and oh my gosh, probably the best pumpkin pie I've ever had for five ninety-eight, and it's freaking huge. I can't make it cheaper than that, and I certainly can't make it taste better, so I bought their pie. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not have Cool Whip on mine, but the boys asked for Cool Whip. Breakfast of Champions. So I am at this place called K where am I? K1 Speedway or something. It's an indoor racing thing. It's very loud as you can hear. And Michael and Jake and Shane are going to be doing this race thing with Jake's best friend and his family. And I am the keeper. Actually, Michael's not racing. And I'm the keeper of everybody's phones and stuff. <laughs> so they just want to go to the safety training video room. And I'm just going to chill out here while another race goes on. I'll show you what it looks like when they get on the track. It's getting wet and he it's pouring out. We just brought them inside and he is having a fit. <laughs> He's drying himself off on the chair. We finally call this the dog chair because people don't ever sit in it. And Basley's outside with Michael. He was escorted with an umbrella because he hates it even more. So much for being a water dog. Alright, he went poop too. All right. Yay! Everyone went poop and pot pee. Hey, we are at a Texas icon, the Texas Pride Barbecue in Atkins, Texas. Kind of St. Edwin, but technically Atkins. And we've never been here before. This is an icon. I can't believe we've never been out here. We are way deep in the country, as evidenced by the state of the parking lot. And this is what it looks like. Hey, they do oil field cat catering. That's awesome. I don't know where we're going. If we're never seen from again, I hope someone finds this camera. Enter here, concert, fish fry, and fun. Okay. Dinner has been served. Just check this out. This is how, this is, this is, this is, this is classic Texas style. Got my turkey, uh, mac and cheese, cheesy potatoes, and this is the plate. Waxy, wax paper, regular sauce, spicy sauce. Can't really tell much of a difference. Michael got chopped brisket. You got some pickles. Shani got ribs and brisket. Jake got the sausage. That's how it's done. And I guess it, when it's nice outside, they have a cute little playground out there. It's a fun place. Okay, round one of Hanukkah decorating is done. We have a lot more to do though. So I have set out our collection of menorahs. This was my mother-in-law's. I think the grandkids lit that. We got that one at Target last year. This one Jake made as a baby. There's some decorative little ones. This was one from my mother-in-law. This is one that Shane made. I think this is one that Shane made. We ordered, this is like a Hanukkah gift. Ow! Um, that's our Baccarat crystal dreidel. Very nice. And then on the mantle here, this is a work in progress. Can we turn off the game or pause it? Nope. I have my snowman collection and everything lights up and it's really pretty and I will show you it when it's all lit when it's done because I have a plan for something in the middle. And then I got this idea from Honey We're Home. I just have to get some commando strips to make this um, hug the wall. So I had the blue and white lights but then I saw that Megan wrapped them around the base of her, what are these, the banister, balusters I guess? I don't know and then brought it around the edge, and then brought it back up and around. So I did that here, and I'm gonna go get another bunch of blue ones and continue. Thank you, dear. Michael's helping with lighting. You see the random hand. And then this is, Michael helped me tremendously with this. I went to Pier 1, and I got the lights. They're actually white, but I don't. they look blue in this light. And I put them around the mirror, they're pretty. Look how everything sparkles. Oh, it's so pretty. I got that from my mother-in-law. Why are people running around smacking me in the butt? And then we're almost done with the table. I am waiting on, I ordered cobalt blue 
plates, salad plates, to be accent colors. And then I have my Hanukkah napkin rings. I have no idea where the napkins are. I have to find them. That is not going to be the centerpiece. And then Michael helped me. This was his contribution to, here we go, blue and white lights. See? Pretty. So, that is it. And while we were Hanukkah decorating, we were watching every college football game that is on in America. Apparently it's rival weekend, so every big rivalry is happening, like Ole Miss versus Mississippi State, Alabama versus Auburn, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Florida, Florida State, so on and so forth. So it's just nonstop football in my house. I thought it was over, but no, now it's time for college football. Anyway... I am going to say goodnight. I will not see you guys on Monday. Well, I will in my Michael and Marnie video. But then daily vlogging starts on Tuesday with Vlogadays. That's what we're calling it. Happy Vlogadays. Not holidays, Vlogadays. I will be vlogging every day, December 1st through the 18th. Take a little break. And then after the first week of running break, I'll probably come back and finish it off through New Year's. So happy December, guys. It's coming up and I'm going to see you every single day really excited and I have a lot of other fun things planned um, I have a fragrance collection video planned I have a fun Michael and Marnie video coming up tomorrow I'm gonna do a tutorial of that eye look I had for November favorites which I hope I can recreate um, you holding the camera for me what do you mean shh what are you doing bring back the camera Hey everyone, welcome to November Favorites. I feel like I just did October Favorites. November, just gone, over, I don't even know what happened. 